Chris Bradshaw and Marlon Vanson. Guys, good morning and good welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Thank look you. at you, look at you. We are starting your day so early. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's good. so nice welcome to have you. Welcome to the Channel nice 5 to have you. <laughs> nice to have you. In. Normally you're there. When you guys are here, it's because you're actually taking part in the show. You're singing a song and you to sing song songs. <laughs> but that's just the way it is. But um, we're, and I'm sure the public as well, are anxious to know what it's like being a judge, especially on the top show in our country, KTV The Remix. Firstly, what is it like when you get that call? What, what's that feeling like? You know what? We want for you to be a part of it. Explain to us how you felt. Let's go, Jenny. You tell me, Jenny. Anybody <laughs> just from being. <laughs> it, it's always, every year, it's always exciting for me when I get yeah. called. Yeah. Because I never know if I'm going to get called. So <laughs> when I do it, it's like, woohoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I, I really enjoy working with the young people who come on the show. I look forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my second year, and I, I can just remember the first year when I was asked, I was like, hmm? what? <laughs> 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 I didn't expect it at yeah. all And when it happened, but it was a really good experience. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, there were ups and downs and everything, but, yeah. Yeah. you know, just interacting with the contestants especially during the the audition phases yeah. mm -hmm. you know it was so good so, so yeah. 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 this was my first, first year so it was definitely an experience yeah. yeah um you know getting the call i was shocked um i was definitely felt i definitely felt honored yeah. um it was definitely something that it, I didn't even, I've never thought about being a judge before, you know, on the KTV. Obviously, I've been a part of the show, you know, yeah, in yeah. previous yeah. years, but I've never actually had the thought come across. So when I got the call, it was something to think about. Yeah. You know, I can, I, it's obvious, you know, we get a lot of, I see a lot of negative critique and feedback online. Yeah. You know, being an artist and stuff, I'm in the public a lot and yeah. on social media that's you know the place to really promote yourself now so yeah. i do see everything so you know getting the call i was like mm, i'm not sure if i want the you know all the negative the stuff on me yeah. and all mm -hmm. these comments and stuff i it was it was difficult for me to say yes mm -hmm. but thinking about the bigger picture you know yeah. i wanted to be able to help yeah. You know, I've been doing this for some years, and so being able to have the opportunity to sit on a panel with these awesome people, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> these, <laughs> you know, legends in Belize and stuff. Oh my. <laughs> you know, having that this. opportunity really um, raised um, my confidence in myself to yeah. see, you know, I've really come a long way. You know, so it was definitely a great opportunity, and you know, this experience has been definitely life changing. Wow. wow. Yeah, I've definitely. How so? Well, because like like I said, um, I've never even thought about being a judge, yeah. and I've definitely I'm always willing to participate in stuff and be in competitions mm -hmm. and stuff. But I've I've never seen myself judging someone or being the let me see what you can do. Like yeah. I've never yeah. seen myself that way. I've always been on the stage, you know. Yeah. So being able to sit back and see other people doing what I did, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a it's a totally different perspective, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So it. it it, even I was able to learn, mm -hmm. you know, because I came with the mindset that I would really just be honest and, you know, just really, well, you could, you need to fix this and stuff like that. But it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as you would think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because I always think of that. You are, I mean, it's, it's what you signed up for. You're in a vulnerable position. You see someone up there that you know is just at the mercy of the viewers, the audience and you as the judges. Um, and some of them you can see didn't come out and do their best clearly, but some of them they've really given their all and, yeah. and they need to do more work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you temper or do you temper what you're going to tell them? I mean, we've seen some brutal honest moments, but at the same time, it seems that you guys have a lot of sensitivity as to what they're experiencing as well. Well, contrary to what most people believe, I do try to temper what I say, but sometimes because of the time factor, mm -hmm. yeah. I need to, well, I, I think it's very important that I get to them, yeah. get the information across to them as to what they can do or what they need to do mm -hmm. to get better. Yeah. And sometimes it comes across as being blunt and abrupt sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just that I really want them to focus on this area because this is maybe the one 
are one of the areas that could make them better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, it just comes out. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's part of your personality too. I guess. Blood. Yeah. Your blood. Yeah, it's your yeah. blood. Indeed. 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 I, I um I come from a psychology background. Yeah. yeah. And so for me, I it's very important. To, to say something, temper something bad with something good. Yeah. So I always look for something good, and I will usually try to say the good and then hit them with the with the negative things. Yeah. That yeah. I need to say. Yeah. So um, you're the negative part first, then the uh, the the positive part. Sometimes first, I then. use I use it backwards yeah. and forwards, mm. it, you know. But the thing is, is that I have to do. I feel I need to do both. Yeah. Because of the self-esteem issues, and I want people to to come back. And I don't want to turn off other people yeah. who may think about coming next year. Yeah, and yeah. so I always try to temper it, um, you know, balance it out mm. with a good and a bad. Yeah. yeah. That's a good way to look at it. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's like I said, it's been a learning experience. Yeah. Yes. Um, what I, the mind, like I said before, the mindset that I came on with, it, I definitely had to change. You know, the way I was thinking and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, having the experience being on the show, seeing everyone else experience what I was experiencing yeah. is totally like it's just eye opening. You yeah. know, because me because being, you know what it's like to stand there before the judges. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. trust, I could see. Like I remember being on the stage and looking at these people and. You know, if my, if I if my voice cracked or something, I would be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, the judges look so intimidating. <laughs> they do. Yes, from up there you do. So I, being on the panel now, I always try to smile because I don't want to make them feel. <laughs> Yeah, mm. yeah. What? Imagine that they're gauging fe yeah. feedback from you, so you yeah. could see if you raise an eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. If you're not smiling, if yeah. you're not moving, at least Shake when the song is on. Yeah. Now you're thinking about it. Right? Yes, yes. I try to remember to do that. I sit there and I have a big grin, and yes. especially if I'm really excited about something someone mm -hmm. is doing, it, it comes up. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, a lot of times when I, there are things that that happen that surprise me, it's like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it do for you uh, as uh, three uh, career folks? What does that do for you? What, what, what's your mindset going on to, an, to another show? Like today being Tuesday. What's the thought today as a judge? And I'm saying this because, you know, it, I think it does play a big role. The, your mindset at the time, uh, you know, the way you're feeling at the time. How do you feel the day of the show? My, it's anticipation for me because I always think that almost every night there is some high point mm. there is you know where somebody comes out and really wows you there's always that and i'm waiting for that yeah. Mm. Yeah. In f for, from now you know it's from way before the show yeah. every night every tuesday night i'll be there just waiting you know wondering who is it going to be the, tonight that's yeah. going to really wow me and <laughs> especially every night you know? i, I, I kind of live for that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. For that moment. Yeah. And what is it like? I mean, the thing is, you get to judge them. And so you give them a boost in votes. And I think this, this year was a clear example of even a judge's boost not being able to help to get them right. through yeah. uh, the voting. Mm -hmm. What is it like when you see people that you know could have made it to the end have to be eliminated? Yeah. It, it kind of hurts. It's a hard thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really hard thing. Tell me one of those moments where you were just like, man, how'd we get here? Stephanie. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Stephanie. <laughs> definitely. Tell Stephanie. me what happened. I guess she did not. Well, the whole night was a disaster, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Um, because when she came on, she was singing a song that was. The, the artist is a bass, yeah. a bass singer. And she was singing, it was Barry White, right? Yeah. It was a Barry White song. Right. Yeah. Uh, huh? There's no way she can get down to those notes comfortably and yeah. sound good, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think at that point, we all looked at each other and we like, no, we have to stop no, this. It's not going to work. Yeah. 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 And so we stopped and we went back and we were trying to discuss with her. Yeah. And still she came back out and I think by then she was so frazzled. She just did not, she did not. Yeah. Was that a tough call mm. to mm. be able it to? It was a real tough call. But just the, the, first of all, we have to get to the how did she get there? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because she won the night we before, the previous the night, yeah. Before, yeah. Before, yeah. which gives you, you know, the edge of the vote. Yeah. 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 It was just like We were stunned. Surprise. Yes, we were done. It was definitely a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. expect that at all. And it's like, and then she busted out her I will survive yeah. and gave everybody chills. I know. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, we interviewed Oral last week, and he said that was that was definitely a defining moment for him too. He said he just thought he was going home. Like the oh, minute yes. he saw, mm-hmm. he was up right, against right, Stephanie. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So that was. I think that was one of the heartbreaking moments in the it show. Was. Yeah. There's also the flip side, where you see someone just break out of their shell and finally give you what you think, what we knew they were capable of doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Share with me one of those moments. I think that would have been Maureen. <laughs> Maureen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got, I think from the very first time Maureen performed, mm-hmm. you could hear that she had a great voice, yeah. but she just wasn't using it mm-hmm. and she wasn't performing well. And then it was like about two weeks ago or so. About two weeks, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, like yeah. she just came out of her shell and just. Expressive. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, she and was really The into richness it. of her voice came out, everything. Yeah. She was comfortable up there. Yeah. Yeah, she was smiling a lot yes. too, which was really good to see because Maureen seemed very serious at first and right. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I feel maybe she's getting more comfortable or maybe she's really getting her getting in her groove or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but you yeah. know, she's really yeah, she's smiling more. She seems happy on the stage. She seems like she's enjoying herself right. now. Yeah. So okay. that's that's really great to see because yeah. yeah, she is very talented. How difficult is it to to judge the the battles? Because when you know, listen, looking oh. looking at it, and <laughs> then you see the battles. We uh, love the deep, battles. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I think uh, I think it was yeah. definitely a great addition this year. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I it was totally like great. Love so how battle. difficult is that for you guys? It seems I mean, like they're more interested battles. in harmonizing than uh, battling each yes, other sometimes. Yes, though. yes, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, they. they <laughs> 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 It's kind of a little bit rough for us because it's putting us right on the spot. We yeah. have to make a decision right away yeah. between two people who are right in front of you. But um, I would I would say <laughs> just say it, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it it, the, it it's a bit hard because you're looking right into the faces of these two people. They're right there on stage. Yeah. It's not like you're writing down on paper their scores or anything. You're looking them right there and saying, okay, tonight we're giving you, you know, you are the one who win, yeah. who has won the battle. Yeah. And then the other person is like, you know. You're, Devastated. You have to, I, one of the things that I try not to do uh-huh. is I try not to look at the person who is not <laughs> who's losing the night. It's really difficult. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. You know, in the corner of my eye, I can see, like, you know, it's just the, the face just yeah, the drops, you know, the disappointment. But the comes good right thing out is, there. though, that yeah. I, I think throughout the battles, we've had a lot of hard decisions to make, which, you know, some of them were pretty easy, but a lot of them were a little difficult because yeah. the both of them really were yes. putting yeah. out their beds. You know? Yes, okay. yeah, some of them were really close. Some of them, like, yeah. together, you know, yeah. some of them were really, you know, they gave you goosebumps, you yeah. know, it yeah. was, so, we had a, a lot of amazing performances. With wow. What I would like to see, though, is a little mm-hmm. bit more harmonizing. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in Yes, Definitely. I'd like to see a little bit more harmonizing between the two people who yeah. are battling. A lot of them sang in unison, mm-hmm. together in unison. I think at they some don't point know how. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think. I think. I think. They, in terms of the battle, it's just we're going to sing this song together. Right. It's yeah. not. I am going to own this song, and then you try to own the song, and then we find out who is actually owning up to this song. I think that would make it much more easier for you guys as the judges. Right. Now there are some words that uh, some folks might be wondering what they are. Like, what is harmonizing? What is falsetto? Because we yeah, what are these things? When we talk about these which, things, what are these which things? Which one do you want first? <laughs> you just throw it out to us. All right. Harmonizing <laughs> is using other notes that go along with the melody. They, they, they go along with the melody. All right. So they, uh, I mean, you guys can harmonize on the spot if yeah, you want yeah, to show yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sing the first verse of Lean On Me. No, not the first verse. This is where we come one together. Love. One love, one love, yeah. One love. Yeah. One love, one heart, let's get together and It's too high. <laughs> it's too high. See, it to takes practice. You That's can see it, yeah. I can harmonize it. Ready? <laughs> no, it's too so high. So, what you're saying? Okay, go ahead. I want to see this. Go ahead. Do you lean on me? I think you guys could do that. No, you sing, I, I'll no. harmonize, you sing. <laughs> sing. One, <laughs> one love. That's lower. Oh. One love, uh-huh. one, one heart. heart. Let's get, get together, together and feel alright. All right. I would sing, but right. I'll go off your harmony <laughs> right now. Yeah. All right, see. <laughs> so yeah. we saw. But anyway, it's notes that go well together with the melody with that the, you yeah. sing. High so low, somebody singing a melody, okay. it can, yes, it 
It can be higher or lower, but usually it's lower. Works together. Right, yeah. together. Yeah. So that's so and that's when harmonizing. you pay attention to people with backup singers, that's where you usually would hear it the most. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're singing like a whole right. different. Yeah. If you yeah, 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 yeah. if you're yeah. into music, thirds go well together. Yeah. So for example, if I am singing. A C and E can go well with it because yeah. C, D, E, e? Is three yeah. above. Yeah, C, yeah, D, yeah. and E, right? Yeah. The third. Got you. Yeah, I never go. think about that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. They go well together. Yeah. So this is so. a critical point because, and, and, and Marilyn, I'm sure you know this, when you're on that stage, a lot of people who show up for this competition have just been good singers. You know, they, right. they sing for people. I, I mean, I don't know what platforms they have, but they perhaps have not had any kind of musical training. And yeah. you're a music teacher. <laughs> So that's your foundation. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you do when you know that perhaps they just don't know that they're doing something wrong? They don't know they're nasal. They don't know they're not breathing right. Yeah. Um, and you, you're trying to tell them, but you realize they're not really getting it because they don't. They've never been exposed to that mm -hmm. information before. Yeah. yeah. My hope is that in this information age, that they would listen mm -hmm. yeah. and go home and even Google it. YouTube, you understand? Yes. YouTube, yes. YouTube. Yes. There is so much information out there now yes. that wasn't around when I was a child. Or yeah. when and I was it's younger. right at your fingertips it's just on right your there. phone. Yes. Right yeah. there. You, if you're interested, if you really care about you know bettering yourself, it's right there. Right. You can yeah. take the you can take what the judges are saying. That's what I did, honestly. Yeah. The being on these shows and stuff really helped me a lot you know not only getting used to the audience because i'm sure that's something that they're you know getting exposed yeah. to they're getting exposed to having all these eyes on you and stuff mm -hmm. you know but you also have to keep in mind that you have to be ready vocally as well if, yeah. you, if yeah. this is something that you want to do so definitely take take what the judges are saying we're not saying it just to say something to you <laughs> we're saying right. it for a reason yeah mm. you know so yeah it's right at your fingertips go look it up yeah <laughs> i mean and you know, one of the other things, I, I mean, I'm not a singer really. I can train you to sing, I can mm -hmm. whatever. I can tell you what to do to become better. I can coach yeah. you in singing. Yeah. I'm a sax player. Mm -hmm. But I practice. And th that is something I'm finding that a lot of singers don't do. They go out and perform, but they don't practice. They don't, practice. They don't go, or they don't, because people like to say that practice makes perfect, but actually it's good practice. Yeah. <laughs> that makes perfect. Yes. <laughs> so you mean Another good thing, they don't warm up. Right. That's they come on stage up, and they don't. They come on stage and you can tell they haven't warmed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they you don't know, take like, care of their voices. Right. Yes. They're drinking cold, cold stuff, stuff before. Yeah. Yeah. Milk. Milk. Alcohol. Too Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Eat before. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yes. a lot of these yeah. things yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we. I mean, and and these are all things that they have to learn as a part of the trade before. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it, there's also another interesting thing. I don't remember who. Maybe. <laughs> But there's always in the season you see people starting to get ill. What do you what do you do when you start to hear people coming with the I'm sick uh, story? Well, but because I have let me let me just throw. Out. Here's <laughs> one thing: a lot of people aren't used to this amount of work in, yeah. in right uh, the volume of work. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you may sing once a month, twice a month, but when you're preparing for the show, you got the stage and you got all the practice mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. right. So a lot of times that takes a toll. Yeah. Exactly. Because a lot of them are singing from the throat. They're not using the Damn. diaphragm. Okay. Right? And if you're singing from your throat after you've sung, you practice a couple times, you, you get start getting yeah. hoarse. Yeah. And they call it a cold, but what it is is the phlegm that's coming up a lot of times, yeah. right? Yeah. If you would warm up and you would breathe yeah. from down in the stomach, yeah. you wouldn't have that problem yeah. with getting hoarse. Yeah. As yeah. a performer, I'm literally performing every week. I keep, I, I keep going. I'm, I'm at it all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always singing. And, I'm a human being, so I get sick too. Yeah. yeah. But that's not an excuse. If this is what you're gonna do, you have to do what you need to do to take care of yourself that's right. and be ready. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an excuse. I sing through it. Yeah. You got. If this is what you wanna do, you have to put in the work and you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the things. I, I gotta watch yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. This is Tyrone, one of my Tyrone. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute favorite. And you guys clearly enjoyed it too. Oh, yes. Tell me what it. What are the elements? for a really great performance. And, and I'm not just saying 
mm-hmm. in general, but especially on KTV because the the television adds a different dynamic. If you ever watch it on TV, what seems fantastic there falls flat at home. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because it just requires an additional energy when you're transmitting through television. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So talk to me about what what for you makes the elements of, of a great performance. This is such a classic one because Tyler just came on that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was his genuine enthusiasm <laughs> that yeah. came through. Well, you said the right word, energy. Yeah. Everything in this world takes energy. Yeah. And on stage, the energy can come out in visual, yeah. your appearance, how you look and how you're performing on stage. And it also needs to come out in your voice. Yeah. But at the same time, it doesn't need to be overdone. Mm-hmm. So it should be, it, the, you should be pushing a lot of energy, yeah. but it shouldn't show as if you are fighting with it. Mm. All right, forcing it. It should come out just naturally. So you yeah. should have a balance. Look natural, yes. People also have to dress the part, you know? It helps. I, it helps to come out looking good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it helps to come out with a smile, like you're enjoying yeah. yourself. I mean, yeah. it's a whole, it's a whole yeah. Um, picture. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I look for, well, I get really excited when, when I see someone come out and they're dressed the part. Yeah. yeah. And then they yeah, open um, their mouths. There right. goes Ariel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's dressing the part. You, yeah. remember that, you remember that night? I think it was... Country yeah. Somebody came out in a like a uh, sports Out. outfit or something. Yeah. And I, I, I made a comment and people were yeah. getting at yeah. me for me. Yeah, yeah. but it's definitely oh. a practice. It's, a it's like yeah. a yeah. show country country, night. You, know? yeah. 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 you have to make sure you prepare yes. so that when you go and perform you're comfortable, you don't you you already know what you're gonna be doing on the stage. Then you dress, then you dress the part. A lot of times when you dress the part, you feel good. Yeah, right. You know, you feel good you're about in yourself. Yes, 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 you're in exactly. It. exactly. Yeah. And I completely feel that, Marlene, yeah. because I feel like performing for me is like kind of acting. Yes. I would say it totally is. I totally, I feel that you get totally you you transform into what you want to put on on the stage. You just yeah. transform into it. You know, if you're yeah. not the person that's gonna be dressed up and stuff, that's fine. Yeah. But when you get on the stage, you gotta be. Yeah. You gotta, you, you know, gotta put it rocking. forward. Yeah. You gotta play the part. And that's what I wanted to ask you, Marlene, because clearly your career as it's growing so rapidly is defined by what you bring to the stage. You have the vocals, but you don't stop there. You get the costumes, the energy, the backup. I mean, we can yeah. see the amount of work that you put into what you bring to the stage. Um, and people love it. Yeah. So when you go to KTV and you see people kind of, you know, everybody has this stereotypical, I'm going to use a standing mic, I'm going to hold it and throw my yeah. head back and I'm a star. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes that works. Yeah. And that can really kill it and really drive home the song. Yeah. yeah. You know, but there's still, you, you still have to Put. Yeah. Some like I think we say this a lot to them. You have to put yourself in the song. You have to feel the song. You have to, you know, really bring the song. Yeah. Make the yeah. song your own. Yeah. yeah. You know, as long as you do that, I feel you're gonna be okay. But I, I think that also comes with practice. Mm-hmm. If you practice enough and you get comfortable with the song, then you can make it your own. But if you know you only maybe sang it one time for your mom or something, and then you come on the stage, <laughs> you're not sure. Beat. You're not sure if you're gonna hit the note, or yeah. you're not sure. You know where the floor is gonna be, or you're not sure how to. You're not sure about the beat yet, so you're kind of, you know. Yeah. So you can you're not, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's you're nice to have her because you see that. Yeah. Yes. But what but is then it like? We had we had one one performer. Uh, who just always came out. I got tired just seeing him come out. Mm-hmm. It was sad because he had a great voice, you know, but come on. just no oomph. Yeah. No I feel that way about some people I see on TV. No so I'm like, the song. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like a good voice gets boring. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing more. Well, you know, more. my theory on it, and I've, se- I've said it to you guys before, is I think a lot of the younger people watch a lot of music videos. Mm. And they see the artist looking all relaxed up there singing like they're not doing anything, but they're really lip syncing. Yeah. yeah. Because this has been recorded in the studio before. Yeah. yeah. And that's all they're doing is lip syncing and yeah. acting. Yeah. And yeah. so they see these artists up there really relaxed and they think that they can get on stage and exude energy by doing mm-hmm. that. And it's not, it's not possible. Yeah. 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 You want to sing and you know. look cute. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right. that's, that's a great, that's a great no. point indeed. That's we got to see all the power behind yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, you, you know, you spoke of what they come out on stage and they have these insecurities, maybe of not knowing the song or having to dance or right. 
but let's be honest there's the dimension of the show we don't like talking about we really hate we wish you could change mm. and that's the online bullying that yeah. takes place yeah. 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 Um, and my guess is some of these people go out there we, we always tell people don't read it it's probably best if you don't right. um, but you see them go out there and I think to myself I mean I would just I don't know what I would do if I am not accustomed to this type of feedback. Yeah. Uh, how much do you factor that in? Like when you think of, even your commentary will be critiqued. Um, your faces, your reactions will be critiqued. Um, and I won't even say critiqued. People are just malicious in their yeah. comments. Yeah. Um, but you know that the performers are facing that as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think if you do read them, which I think you should. Don't. Yeah. You probably have to make it positive. You know, spin it in a positive yeah. way. Like yeah. for example, I could say the first time a meme was ever made about me was because the first time I had a meme yeah. being made. Yeah. 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 You worked with teenagers yes. for so long. I can re I can remember it clearly. Uh, it had um or three pictures. It was Rojani at the time. Rojani uh -huh. at the time. It yeah. said. Good morning, Belize, except to these three. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I never. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I, found that really, I found that kind of funny, though. <laughs> but the, but yeah. you well, um, I did, I, I've i seen a couple because I, I do have friends. Yeah, they gonna, share. You know, people are going to show they're me. They're going to pull it up. Yeah, they're going to oh. show me, and, you know, but I, I don't want to read it. I really don't. I mean, you can say, well, I don't care what people say. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings and somewhere deep down in there, it's going to affect you. Maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow or yeah, next year yeah. or when someone else says something, then you're going to be like, maybe, maybe it's true because, you know, they said it. But one thing I could say, a comment that I was hearing about was about my hair. You know, uh, yeah, apparently <laughs> it's, it's too, it's too big and, too you know, it's, <laughs> it's too puffy. <laughs> You know, <laughs> That's why, yeah, people will yeah, say yeah, yeah. But I think you know what I did, um, and I, I was grateful for my dad. My dad told me, "But look at the bigger picture. Who cares about your hair? <laughs> what does your hair? <laughs> what does your picture. hair has to do with your purpose on be, of being on this show? You're here to help people. You go out there to sing. Right. What does your hair have to do with your voice and what the, the what you're gonna tell those people? Yeah. It doesn't matter. But people are just gonna nitpick and yeah. stuff like that. You know." Yeah. But I, I love my hair. Mm -hmm. People who are bullies are, are secretly they, they mm. probably insecure about yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so when but they because you're never gonna hear a decent hear person do say things like that. Yeah. But when yeah. we hear from people, when we hear all the negativity, and I wanted to ask this question a long time ago, um, does what the people say behind you alter how you're gonna judge in, in the audience yeah oh, in the audience and out there does it alter how you guys Ooh, uh, it doesn't. No. judge or gauge no. someone's no. no it doesn't in fact sometimes i don't even hear it mm. i've heard somebody told me that some, that last year somebody was commenting that i'm racist because i am some I, I didn't even hear it i heard that they were shouting it behind me but somebody said that they were shouting I didn't hear it then. Yeah. I, I focus. The is a, is, is a very yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't I think. I focus on the the performance yeah. yeah. and the performance. I focus on that, and that is why sometimes I am accused of not smiling. That's why I'm so into what's going on on the stage. <laughs> I don't Sometimes remember. I literally do this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I do. Yeah. 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 If it yeah. if it's really affecting my my paying attention, yeah. I just do that. <laughs> and you focus there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think the audience would have an effect on how we judge or what, you know, the scores we give and stuff like that. But I won't lie, the when we when we do give the scores, yeah. if the audience doesn't like it, it isn't that easy to sit there and hear all this <laughs> roaring behind yeah. you. Like it's, it can be a little annoying. We're just trying to do our jobs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's where I think of it from the performer's standpoint. Right. You know, in my experience at the show, I know that, as I said, the KTV audience is always a very vocal one. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of them naturally come out to support the one they like. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean they sit quietly when anybody else is on. Yeah. Uh, it means that they will shout things and participate in some way or the other. Yeah. Uh, it, and I always think of the performer coming out. You know, if I'm perhaps from a far off area and I don't have my whole fan club right. with yeah. me, right. and all I'm seeing is everybody else's fans. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. That's what I was getting at in terms of the different <laughs> elements yeah. that this there's there's going out on stage at a concert or perhaps a, a paid gig um, or a show where people are there because they want to see you. But with KTV, some people don't want to see you because they have a favorite. Yes, they have a favorite. <laughs> they have a favorite. Yes, yes. Um, and you have tele people who are watching at home who are publicly, um, you know, being mean to you. And so there's, there's all. I, I remember Adriana did an off off air or um, interview, and she said. These people are so brave because it's hard to enter the contest mm -hmm. yeah. knowing right. that that's going to be something yeah. you put up with as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've is. seen sometimes where you see the confidence dwindle from like audition phase to like yes. first show and then it goes down and not everyone recovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you get on stage for a competition like this, for a performance like this, it's like election. It's like you're going out there to campaign for a few minutes. Yeah. And within that time frame, you have to wow the audience. You have to win over people from the audience yeah. that might be swing votes. Yeah. Yeah. And that, just, that's just the way you have to see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> swing votes. Huh? That is. Yes. Okay, there you go. So, so, yeah. so tonight is the last night. I'm sure by now with the auditing firm, they've got, uh, they've got everything in their bag in terms of we have no idea who uh, is going to win. What's the feeling like? Like, like, uh, what are the what are the feelings like right now? And I'm sure that uh, because we've got three wonderful people up there, yes. you know, and I think that it could swing to anybody. Yeah, it could. It really could. Really so, what's the feeling like right now, Judge? For me, uh, as usual, it's anticipation. I just can't wait to see who is going to win because, like you said, any card could play. Yeah. And it's not like the talents are so far apart from each other yeah. that you yeah. can even say one is so great and the others won't get any votes. Yeah, the That's three are good. Yes, they're yeah. very good. Yes, yeah. three of them are pretty good. So, yeah. you know, it could go either way. So the anticipation is my excitement right now. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. And all three perform. When they're out there on the stage, they're actually doing the, what they've got to right. do. Yeah. They right. dress the part, yeah. they act the part, and so it's very difficult at this point. I think that this is definitely one of the most anticipated shows that, we, uh, that we've uh, come to so far. And I'm sure that Belizeans will be waiting for that time. Oh, yes. Are you guys going to sing tonight? Are we gonna sing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Yes, we will sing. <laughs> will we reveal the secret? <laughs> We're looking forward. Are you to planning it. something mean. for the stage tonight? Let's start there. You'll um, be on stage tonight, everybody. Yes, yes, we will be on stage. All three of us will be on stage. Don't be so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see the excitement in the way. Yeah. Don't show it too much. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's my, it's my EOR complex. <laughs> Your ear. Why, why, hey, why? We're not going to have why, three why. judges tonight. We're going to have a whole room. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Hortense will be there. Oh, yes, Hortense. Yes. Mm, and have you picked your song? Yeah. For you? Hey, you know that some people, some the public, some of the public actually believe that Hortense doesn't like me or something. Uh -huh. Seriously, they think Hortense is really, that Hortense is serious. <laughs> Watch it. Dali, they don't like no man. Yes, she, they actually think that she doesn't like me. Wow. And yeah, there's not a night that her tits doesn't heal me yeah. or say hello. Yeah, or yeah. she just has characters yeah. Yeah. Show yeah. every year. But what, what is it like for you? Like, you, you meet people, I'm sure, all the time who have something to say about your show, about what you said, how somebody sang, who went yeah. home, how you send the one home. Yes, that is <laughs> yes. I mean, us. Tell me. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a message Oh no. Well, I don't think you guys made the right decision on this and uh, oh, that was like, nice. But I'm like, um, yeah, no, it was. I'm, I'm, I'm making it nice. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, she, she's censoring yeah, it. I'm for, fixing it. For yeah. But I, I just, we don't really. I mean, we just do the judging and we give the scores. But at the end of the day, it's the public that the really voters. chooses right. yeah. who's Perfect. gonna continue and yeah. who's yeah. gonna, you know. In a way, like, yeah, you get the extra, you know, you get the extra votes from the judging, you know, what, who we choose for the yes, night. One, yeah. Yeah. And I think the, the contestants gets gets to grow a little based on what we have yeah. to say. Of course. But in, uh, you know, in, when it comes to who's going to win, it's mainly up to the public. Yeah. You have to vote. You yeah. have to vote. All we do is help. Yes, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, you it have really to is. Vote. Yeah. 
<laughs> so tell me your strange, uh, your strange stories of feedback from people. Uh, people come at me on the bus because I ride the bus. <laughs> and I come sit next to me. You're so wrong. How could you all do this? You I didn't. Wow. And they go, Did you vote? <laughs> Because you are the ones that are choosing yeah. the people, yeah, not me. Yeah. All we're doing is we're giving them information. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But actually, the, the who selects them uh -huh. is John Public. You. John Public. Oh, there we go. That that didn't me. Okay, we just show it. Okay. 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 <laughs> and that's actually a picture of you not smiling. You should have been smiling. <laughs> no, but I, I can read some of your faces when you're like holding back. Yeah. When, when Jenny does the. Well, oh my! What? What? The, nobody can do you. Nobody can do you. <laughs> and that's the one with the, the stalker behind you, Marilyn. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't see that one. Yeah, it was just somebody's uh, face behind it. But Chris, tell me your story. Because uh, you know, sure you've it's had weird. I've you. had people tell me, you know, that you did the wrong thing. You said no, but majority of the people actually tell me that, oh, you're a good judge. Yeah. You, you tell the people. Ah, right. yeah. Most people do. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, most people do. do on that. the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not on Facebook. You, <laughs> actually have, you actually have that group of people who still demand that they want harder judging. Right, right. And I was watching, I think it was maybe America's Got Talent, and yeah. I just heard one of the judges say, you know, you don't belong here. You, you just, what are you doing on the show? You really, somebody yeah. else deserves this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, if a Belizean judge ever said that, I want to take oh that my gosh. Judge, <laughs> it'd be more than their tires that are missing. True <laughs> 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 story happened yeah, before. Yeah, sorry, so, um, yeah. Wow. you know, I just thought, and, and it was, just a passing moment in the show. Right. Yes. Yeah. So yes. it's it's funny because people want you to be hard, but then but they don't. Can you really? But not to your favorite. <laughs> not right. yeah, yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. Not, <laughs> not if it's whether talent is yeah. good or bad. So mm -hmm. it takes a lot of courage to do what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and I guess perhaps your experience, your maturity, and your own time on stage, you kind of just know that this is part of the package. But we're grateful that yeah. you're part of yeah. the show. Yeah. Well, but Jenny, uh, yes. finally for me, you know, uh, we, we this thing got started all the way back in I think 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 2000. No, it's Mom, earlier. Than earlier than that. Yeah, it's yeah. in the 90s. All right, so in the, in, and you have been a part of this the longest out of the judging. Mm -hmm. um, what? Yes, she's a veteran. Yes, she's. I'm, the, I'm a. I'm she is the old vet veteran. Indeed. Um, <laughs> you've seen characters come out. I could remember last year with yeah. Maru. I could remember the year before that with uh, Hanolin. Hanolin. You yeah. know, so there there are a lot of characters yeah. who came out. Did you expect any such thing this year? And I was waiting what has for this one. Been doing for you what has it done for you throughout these number of years to be a judge on ktv i've truly enjoyed working with the, the young people this year i didn't do it as much i used to go backstage into the um the back room and make them um warm, warm up, up. Yeah, i would yeah. i would sit there and help them to warm up yeah um, but this year I didn't because we well, have the door locked and I didn't feel like doing all that walking. <laughs> 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 so, um, but I, I really look forward to doing that yeah. part of it. Yeah. Um, and then listening to them and talking with them and trying to put them at ease yeah. before the show. Yeah. That was a big thing for me. And I think I'm going to do that again if I come back. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I truly enjoy doing that. Yeah. And Marilyn, tell us about the experience of being on stage. You know, I remember you, you told Stephanie, you don't have to win. You know, this can still be a platform for yeah. you. You came yeah. in second, I think it was... Two years. Two years, <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, just talk about... Because I always tell people, there's no bigger platform you can have in Belize locally yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, than KTV. Yeah. And even if you don't win, people know your name, they know yeah, your talent. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. They see your face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I One of the things that um, KTV did for me was not only, yes, get me used to the stage because nerves is a really, like you know that people are gonna be watching and they're gonna be, you know, waiting. A lot of people wait for you to make a mistake or yes. do something so that they can, oh, look at that. But, you know, with all this, all this anticipation and stuff like that, you get really nervous. A lot of artists and a lot of singers, performers, anybody who has to go in front of people, they get nervous and you know you start to shake and stuff like that so it was it was really helpful for me to get rid of it yeah. you know and i'm i won't say that i'm completely rid of it but one thing that i've learned um being on the show is that practice is totally necessary yeah so i it's it's 
a part of me for me to practice more than I probably need to, which yeah. I don't think that's possible. But, yeah. you know, it's something that I've, I was able to learn. Yeah. You know, especially being with all these different genres that you have to go through. Yeah. You know, it's it did. I was exposed because I don't listen to all of those genres. But, you know, being have, having to learn these songs two years in a row, yeah. you know, being out, out of my comfort zone and stuff like that. I was exposed. And now I feel that you give me a genre i'll sing it for you no yeah. problem yeah. Yeah. I, at least two songs i know from that genre <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i know i was waiting for a couple of them to land uh, i wanted reggae. yes yeah, I wanted that was reggae one too. Yeah, uh, that would have been interesting yes, but that's yeah. how it happens we got country instead of disco <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well guys best of luck tonight yep. we will all Thank be waiting patiently for the envelope <sighs> to be opened and finding yes. out Who's going to be taking home the top prize? Right. Yeah. And we'll see you all on stage. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there, are there dance moves involved? No. <laughs> I saw a little shaking though. Yeah, 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 you saw something yeah. out in the back. There's a little shimmy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. 8.30 later on this evening, mm -hmm. live from the Bliss. We've got the tickets right here at Channel 5. You'll get your tickets at 88 on the Boulevard. You can get your tickets at Smart right there on Albert Street. You can't afford to miss this one. It's going to be big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we need to take our break. And <laughs> oh, what? There we go. We got there it is. We'll leave you with the meme. Everyone can say what you were talking about. Yeah. Wow. But we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be joined by representatives of the NTUCB Ooh. and the Leash Chamber of Commerce talking about your safety and health at work. So please stay tuned. Good morning.